This report came out earlier that Denzel Mims was going to be released. Rappaport updated it and said, no, no, no. Josina Anderson, about 45 minutes ago, tweeted, regarding Mims, I'm told the Jets had exploratory talks with the Cowboys to discern potential interest in a trade, something to keep an eye on while Mims remains on the roster so far with the possibility of a trade still open. I think this is a guy the Cowboys should get, Brian. What do you know? Yeah, I went gang of seven on this one. Just and one of my guys got back to me and he said, I said, hey, is this guy, would he be worth a claim or something? And he said, maybe just to increase depth, injury insurance, practice squad. But I wouldn't count on him making your 53. Oh, wow. Very, b- and this guy very knows, knows, knows your yeah. football team. Yeah. That's yeah. what he's saying. The Jets have been trying to get rid of him for two years now. And mm-hmm. I think that they have tried to talk with the Cowboys previously. I don't think this is a first time thing. The Cowboys have shown maybe some interest there. I think that if he's released, I would look at the Cowboys. Maybe you bring him in as a camp body, see if you can resurrect his career. I don't think a trade will actually happen here. Yeah, you don't want to give up something for an asset like that. What is it, 20 catches and under 300 yards combined first couple of years after getting drafted fairly high? Wasn't he like a second, second round, round pick? Second round pick, yeah. yeah. Out of Baylor. Yeah, so uh, unfortunately uh, for him, you know, the career has not go- gone off to a great start. But I think the Cowboys with Tolbert and Fajoko, I don't think you can count on anything. I, I think you got to plan on, on pretty much a, a training camp performance that makes you go, okay, well, we don't want to put these guys Man, in games on Sunday. You need Tolbert to be good. You need it. You need. You can't I, count I, on no, it. I understand, yeah. and I can't count on the backup linebackers, and I can't count up on the backup running backs. There's a lot of things I can't count on right now. Yeah, I'm just that. That's the thing. You got to figure it all out, though. You do. You, know, you really, and really Mims do. probably doesn't give you a, a much better well, chance. Well, just they, one guy says yeah. that. I mean, it, like I say, I need to hear from my other guys. But these are the guys and gals that watch tape every day. I mean, you know? the Jets could screw things up, but I mean, they've yeah. needed wide receivers, and and you know, it, yeah. it would be difficult to not be impressive enough to at least get a good shot. There. We could have given him like Gallup for Quinn and Williams at one time. Yeah, that would have been nice. You guys were all cowards. None of cool. you guys wanted to do it. Would have been fantastic. Yeah, you guys, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the one thing about Denzel Mims that he, I think it was you, Gavin. If it said I was no, Gallup is my guy. Uh, the, the, one, the one thing about Mims is he does, he's a 4 3 8 40 guy, I believe. So yeah, he, he, does, can, he can run. Provides some speed. Got wheels. To, yeah, I do think Simi Fajoko, one thing about him, and, and we know he did it last year, right, on, on the training They're praying field. he's Noah Brown, better Noah Brown. He's going to benefit by the offensive change. Like, he ran the West Coast offense with David Shaw at Stanford. Yep. This is a welcoming for Simi Fajoko. He should know this new offense and some of the, the new things that they're implementing better than I think many, and maybe any other receiver on the roster. you got to stay healthy, Do you though. think most most of the the Joneses prayers right now involve the wide receiver group. I mean, you feel really good about your th- top three guys. I do. I think Most you feel really prayers. good about your top two. I feel good about Gallup as a third. Wow, guy. that's a good question. Most of their prayers. What do you think it focuses on? I mean, do you, what? What? what if I, think I it's told be you, offensive no, line. no, no, no. Oh yeah, it focuses right now. Zach Martin. Yeah, maybe gonna, with the Martin thing. Yeah, Tyron. I mean, there's so many elements that can go wrong with that offensive line. But they group. seem so confident in their offensive line. They though. do. That's, it's funny. But I feel like that's the bluff. Like they're talking themselves into the confidence. Oh, okay. Yeah, Gavin, I've done that before. Gavin's having none of that, right? You don't think they've helped? They're helping Dak at all, do you? Um, I think offensive the offen- line wise, no, no, not with the line. I think the scheme has a chance to help them make things easier. Hopefully, yeah. okay. If I told you guys that Jalen Tolbert, we could come away from the season feeling like, okay, we got a guy who can play football for us. He can be a third or fourth receiver. Like he had a decent season. Or would you rather get the same kind of deal out of Deuce Vaughn? Oh. Uh, Deuce Vaughn. Deuce Vaughn. Yeah, I think Deuce is going to be good regardless. Right now, well, we have Deuce one is loose. Back. I mean, Deuce is going to be a stud. Yeah, okay, so he's for, already putting the guarantee on it. Yeah, I, I'm. I so, think Deuce is going to be a an impact type of player. We talked to him. By the way, uh, we had Love of the Star came out today. Oh, nice. So there's a new one out there, and we answered right on time. It was a mailbag uh, uh, central questional thing, kind of what we did. Okay. So everybody that had questions, we tried to answer your questions on the show. All right. So give it a listen if you okay, would. Okay, check that out where you I get will. your podcast. I won't. Uh, yes, the Zach Martin. I don't blame you. No, I'm just kidding. I'll be, I'll be listening. The, the Zach Martin <laughs> Make sure story. the girls at the Baby Dolls listen yeah, to it. If I you will. don't listen, you're in the minority. No, I put dude. on, I, I change my shirt before I go in and I say, listen to Love of the Star. Yeah, thanks. The number one podcast in the world. Make sure Star listens to Love That's of the lie. Star. Yeah. He does Star? not wear a shirt hey. when he goes to Baby Dolls. <laughs> <laughs> That's the main well. attraction right there. He's got Tolo stickers on that area. Is Glenn still working over there at the Dolls? Yeah, still DJ? killing it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh DJ, yeah. what's up, DJ Glenny Glenn? Oh, dude, he's the gentlemen. Best. All shots a dollar fifty. That's Grab him. your favorite. Bottle, 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 bottle. <laughs> I, think they, I think these dudes awesome. all go to school together to learn how to do yes, this. Yes, but some guys it's a have major. Some guys have a talent that separates them. Well, and I would say Glenn has. No, Glenn's a good dude. That talent more impressive than the your favorite waitress, the auctioneer guy. I'll tell you what the most impressive person is: is the person guy. 
Horse guy's good, but the most impressive is the dude who reads the fine print after one of our ads. You know, in the state, da, 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 in the state, you know, when like he the reads, micro machines guy. Yeah, like yeah, he says, good. you can't, you can't. It, it's a uh, void in these states. Da, 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 I think da, they're da, da, digitally. I think they're speeding that up. I'll take horse racer guy though because right. he's got to memorize the field based on numbers. He's got to have he's got to have names and numbers horses, every though, twenty. Right? Minutes. Sometimes there's fifteen, twenty horses out there, bro. Sometimes there's yeah, big I mean, field. What is this like? You can. What is this like? The cavalry going at fifteen to twenty horses. Sometimes you guys both just said the horse guy, and I don't I don't know the horse track announcer. Track announcer. And Hi. down that stretch that comes. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How about on wake up over yeah. there Here comes Krusty yeah, Cove so right around the corner. They're I've watching. Been on, I've been on my game, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's questionable. They're watching. The, the horse guy, I thought yeah. that was self-explanatory. I did too, yeah, Gavin. And good job on your part. I'm Thank sorry. you. I was still stuck <laughs> on Broad <laughs> thinking the guy at the end of the radio reads is, is like a speed talker. He's like the yeah. Deion There's Sanders of going. talking. Have you ever heard Sean do it? <laughs> Sean can do it. Sean Sharif can do it. Yeah, you, but but I mean, I've then, heard it. But <laughs> seriously, what what they do is is in it's post in all states in Nevada. No, 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 no. no Wisconsin. They speed, no, no, they speed it up. Hmm. We've hey. got we've got an, a, something that we have in Adobe that can That's do that. Such a lie. <laughs> it's true. They've done it for us. <laughs> you're trying to like, I go 32 you're, seconds you're on to, a spot. They need to speed me up to make it 30 seconds. <laughs> no, no, you can't make no, it 32 no. seconds. Tim, Tim just asked your big ass to do Line it again. Like, hey, we'll chuck you're a little <laughs> short on that one. Every time Pretty he's huge. never sped I'm my never up. a little short. I'm a little long, Brian. Oh, okay. I think we should speed up some of Brian's questions. You know, maybe pre-record them <laughs> and then have have Lucius I mean, hit like you know three what? X on it. Hey, there's nothing nothing I can say to that seriously <laughs> nothing i could say the zach martin story though is a big one it's <laughs> rocking cowboys nation and you're trying to figure out could he really hold out uh, and you know yes is he do, no. do the, should the cowboys just give him the big uh, contract here at age 32 he is the latest member of madden's nfl 99 club and congratulations to zach for that perfect overall 99 he'd be the first player to retire with a 99 rating if he does that i just find it interesting he was such good friends with travis frederick you never know what what travis frederick was saying like oh forget these guys they're they're never gonna win it we're just beating our bodies up brother why don't you just come be a businessman with me we'll move back to the midwest and sell cheese you know you never know what what uh what, what it made sense for Trav. could it make sense for zach as well hope not you know, you don't want to lose Zach at 32 years old. He could be an elite guard for the next five years quite easily. Um, but, he, yeah, he's joining Aaron Donald and Justin Jefferson now in the in the 99 club. It's, it's interesting they waited for the first down year of his, of his entire career to give him that 99. Yeah, that, I mean, it's that. Uh, it's because Must of be the, the numbers position. Say. I think. I think it's the position. The disrespect just to like, the guards. Yeah, they, I think he is. He the first guard to ever be 99. I think he's the first. Larry Allen. Ever. I think Larry Allen was in 2003. He okay, bet, so he's he well, he well been. Yeah, like he yeah. well and he should have yeah. had a 99, maybe a hundred strength. Well, and, and a speed of at least 85. Gosh. Okay, uh, let me jump into this uh, Des story with uh, Trayvon Diggs. Uh, it was a smaller Twitter account, West Coast Cowboy, but it looks like he's doing a blog and a podcast type of situation. And he tweeted, I had the opportunity to ask Des about the contract situation between Trayvon and the Cowboys. And, you know, I think Dez is uh, getting credibility in this because he and Trayvon have b been working on, you know, things outside of football together. Um, Dez says Diggs is not trying to knock him across the head and that the team is not trying to be fair to him. Um, so that's a little bit of insight into the Trayvon Diggs story. But, I mean, for the Cowboys, they have so many high-quality players right now. I think we know that. They're trying to get them all paid. They're trying to also add players like Cooks and Gilmore because they realize they don't have enough. But when we were looking at the Zach Martin contract earlier, and you can do the same thing with the Dak Prescott contract earlier, what the Cowboys are doing is just pushing their cap hits out into the future and creating voidable years. It's something that the CBA allows them to do, but Zach Martin doesn't even have a contract for 25 but they're adding like, oh, there's $8 million we're going to have to. So they're borrowing from the future to pay their own players already. Been doing it for two decades. Yes. Uh, it's, it's why they never have money. They're, they're always talking about the salary cap, the salary cap, the salary cap. Well, there's never a year where you have the cap relief because they keep doing this. And yeah. eventually that and money becomes due. They're too scared to just completely lean all the way into it. Right. They yeah. never will say we're just going to stink for a year. So yeah. Just go ahead and pay this off and then we'll just retool for the following season. But they already have more going into further years in the future than I'd be comfortable with. You know, and at some point you have to say, okay, we have to stop and cleanse the palate essentially and, and get back to operating 
you know, closer to to even. And I don't know how they approach this. You know, at 32 years old, was was Zach's disappointing games last year enough for you guys to say no? We're, we we cannot give you a brand new contract, or are you are you bellying up to this thing and, and giving him market value right now and for the next four years? Yeah, I don't I mean I don't know. I think I think you can come to an agreement on the years stuff. I, I don't I don't think the years. I just think he wants some upfront money now. I think he's kind of on a year to year deal, but I'm I'm pretty sure if you just guaranteed him an extra whatever the difference is between him and the top guy or close to it, it's probably another five million. Hey, here's year. seven. Here's a okay. million per year. Yeah. So if you gave him five, maybe no, you'd be happy but just with that. right now, here's for this season. We you don't you. even know if you're playing next year, Zach. Right. Here's five, six million right now. Take it guaranteed and let's go play this year. And I would assume that's what it is. It's more so I'm underpaid right now this year because we and Brian, you've talked about it. We hear about how long does he really want to yeah. want to play. So mm-hmm. if you're the well, Cowboys, I'm not necessarily like I need to give you an extension. Let me just go ahead and make sure you're happy right now because if you lose Zach Martin to me. I think you're toast. Okay. This offensive line is in shambles. You're not going to be able to do anything. I would agree with that. That's the way I would look at it. And in, in 2018, they looked at the Zeke deal like, we need to have you. We cannot afford to lose you, so we're going to give you whatever you want because we're going for it right now. Okay, we'll continue to monitor that story and more here in the G-Bag Nation. Brian, anything to add to it before we move on? I'm just letting that one ride, guys. Yeah. I'm letting it ride. You're on the lo- Yeah, you are on the record here that it would, it would be a bluff that you'd call. I'll call it. Yeah. And if he doesn't show up in Oxnard, do you call him? I, I tell you Two, what, three days in, you call him? I'm, I'm just because I know, I mean, I, I just don't think he wants to get fined and I don't think he wants to miss those checks. You'd call his ass up and say, we'll see you in Oxnard, sir, and hang <laughs> up, wouldn't you? But I do t- you think he would just say, all right, you know what, if he I'll, retires, just, I'll just quit. If, he, if he's retires, that's on him. That's not a decision I make. I mean, I, you know what, if, if, if him just playing means me, us giving him more money, then, I mean, I don't know what else to do because yeah. I can't, I've got... I've got all these other contracts and stuff I have to deal with. I have to deal with a quarterback right now that's going to get what fifty something million dollars already here. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of things like I got a wide receiver, I got a a, a, a defensive player of the year basically at, at linebacker and defensive end. I yeah. got a corner, I got a wide receiver. So you got to move on from somebody. You can't Shouldn't pay it be all. the thirty two year old I who agree. was showing signs of decline. Should have been you Tyron could, Smith. If it was, yes. yeah, that should have should have been. That should have already happened. And and if you were going to do this with Zach Martin, you should have got ahead but of it see, when you had a chance to replace him. You can't replace him now. But you do, we're already nervous about your left guard. Yeah. Now let's put a hole at our right guard like, spot. To me, I hear everything you're like, saying. Absolutely I, not. I, I'm not more worried about the future than I am this team no. right now being the third best team in their conference and having a chance to How actually do something. How different do you feel about lining up and playing against the Giants? Giants week one without Zach. Oh, Martin. Dexter Lawrence feels good about it. And yeah. the rest of the season, line. yeah. It's you good. Know, I mean, to me, I I don't think you're a playoff team. I, the thing about it was, I remember a game against Tampa. Right, the game that was played where the where the Cowboys went up and down the field on Tampa on opening day without Zach Martin in the game. Remember, he had COVID. Yeah, Connor yeah. McGovern and played. Connor McGovern played over there. And yeah, stuff. you had Tyron Smith healthy. You had Lael Collins. You had Connor Williams. You had they veteran They threw the guys. ball every damn snap, and it was they, they almost pulled off the upset there in, in Tampa. They could do it. It would increase your difficulty, I think, significantly. I'm just telling you, I'm going to make him retire if that's the case.